I'm Dr. Megan Samaraki, a professor at Rhode Island College and a member of the Learning Scientists team. And we use science to figure out the best ways for students to learn. We come up with flexible guiding principles, basically rules of thumb to help you study well and without spending too much time. And one of the most important strategies that we have found to help students learn, remember, and apply information is called retrieval practice. Retrieval practice is all about bringing information to mind from your memory. So to use retrieval practice, you have to close your book and put your notes away. Then you can try to sketch or write out as much of the information as you can remember. Once you've written everything out or drawn everything that you can, you can open the book and check to make sure that you got everything right, see what you need to work on more. It's important to make sure when you practice retrieval, you start out with your book closed. If you're repeatedly reading your book or your notes, they serve as a sort of crutch. When you do that, you just don't learn as much. This is really hard to do. Retrieval practice is difficult, but it's one of the most effective study strategies that we know of. It helps you learn and remember things in the long run so that it's durable, long-term learning that you're engaging in. One way that students often like to engage in retrieval practice is by using flashcards. Flashcards can be great, but you just have to make sure that you don't flip the card too early. If you make flashcards, make sure that when you're looking at the prompt or the question on one side, you retrieve the information from your memory. Then you can look at the other side to see if you were correct. And remember, retrieval practice is not just about memorizing terms and definitions. It's also really good for helping you learn and understand complex information. So try to write out what you can remember, come up with your own examples, go beyond just memorizing the terms and definitions. Really try to put the information into your own words and practice applying it. You can engage in retrieval practice in a lot of different formats. You can answer questions, so you can take practice tests, any practice tests that you can get your hands on or make questions up with your friends. You can write out on a blank sheet of paper. You can draw what you can remember. You can organize by creating some sort of concept map and connecting different ideas, explaining how they're related. You can even engage in retrieval practice by talking with friends or other classmates. Because when you're trying to explain something in your own words from your memory, that's retrieval practice.